Hey, our nation, Kettabrera TD Place with the pregame presented by LRO Staffing. TD Place is being transformed for this Monday's Guns N' Roses concert, but Axel and the boys aren't the only ones looking to leave their mark this weekend. The Red Blacks will travel to Hamilton to take on the winless Hamilton Tiger Cats. With a record of 1-6-1, and one, the Red Blacks has still certainly turned their season around, especially knowing that for the next five games, they face four Eastern Conference opponents. It begins Friday night in Steeltown, and they have a three-pronged attack in terms of their strategy. One, keep it simple. Two, compete in the moment. And three, play like your season depended on it. Um, well, we talked about competing. I think compete when guys compete, uh, you're doing it for yourself, and you set the standard for what you want and uh, we know we're all capable of doing it and um, it doesn't really matter who we're playing this week every every week's going to be a good team that we're playing and you show up with, with the mindset that uh, you want to go uh, battle and go win a football game on the road and, and that's it how do you find a balance between being urgent but also being uh, cautious and trying to avoid making mistakes trying to do too much i think to quit talking about too many things and not making things too complicated that's what I would say. They're in our division, so that's who you want to play. That's that's how you're going to get to the playoffs is through the East. We're not going to cross over, so yeah. yeah, we just have to get the wins and pile them up now. What's the mindset of this team? You've been around this team through everything now from day one. What's your read on this team? Uh, guys were good this week. Guys were focused. They're ready to play. I think uh, if we can just come out and play the full 60 minutes, I think we'll be all right. I think there comes a time where you know you sit yeah. back and you say, hey, we're one and six. What's, what's wrong? Yeah. And um, how do we finish the games? How do we make things more crisp? How do we get execute better? And um, I think we've done a good job of that this week. We've got back to uh, doing, some, yeah. doing some things that are simple yet yeah. uh, complicated, if that makes any sense. Sure. But we're, uh, we're, we're excited to kind of see how this game plan goes, and we're just going to go in there and uh, stick, our, uh, stick our nose in the dirt and, and start grinding. As for the Red Blacks, defense is all about having a short-term memory and forgetting what's happened over the first seven weeks of the regular season campaign and lining up and competing from an instinctual perspective on Friday night. And that all begins with defensive coordinator Mark Nelson and his play calling. You get your guys to play with instinct and not think, which, which is always the goal for a coach, is not think, let's go out. Just play. It. You're Just exactly play. right. And that means do less and do it faster. And uh, if you want to rep the things that you're going to do in practice, which you're going to call in the game. So don't make calls in the game. If I, if, if, if I make a call in the game that we haven't repped or we haven't repped very much, and really if I make a call in the game we haven't repped, you know, unless I've talked to them about it before or something like that, then that's, that's pretty stupid coaching. Okay, and if um, if I make a call, you know, if I'm making calls in a game that we didn't rep a bunch, again, that's bad coaching, because uh, we should I should make calls in the game that we repped a bunch at practice, so when they hear it, it's boom, boom, let's go. Uh, we worked as hard as we could this week to uh, to be ready for this game and try to change the course of this season. Uh, we're still in a good position to make the playoffs, and after that. Uh, it's all up for the grab, so uh, we uh, we got to take this opportunity to play better and uh, hopefully get a win. As for the roster, a couple of familiar faces will make their return. Defensive end Arnaud Gascon Nadeau and linebacker Nick Taylor will start on Friday night. And on offense, the debut of number two Kenny Shaw out of Florida State. The former Toronto Argonaut was injured during training camp and hasn't seen any regular season game time. He's a legitimate game breaker who's looking forward to competing against the Tabbies. All right, too. How you feel? Feel good, man. It feels good to be back soon up with the guys again. You know, going after this W, and it's been a long time coming. It's been over a month, but like I said, it feels good to be back. You bring in a guy like that for a reason, and uh, you know we haven't had him this year, even in training camp. And so for him to get you know a string of practices together was nice uh, to get to know Kenny, because people know people think that I played all year with him in 15, and he didn't get to play in 15 until the end of the year. And uh, he's a special talent, so we're excited to have him. So it's the Red Blocks and the Tiger Cats Friday night in Steeltown. For all your pregame information, join me, Lee Versage, and James Duke Ellington on TSN 1200. I'm Ken Averless, the pregame presented by LRO Staffing. We'll see you at the ballpark real soon.